Hello guys and welcome to the Let's Play series of The Last Door Season 2 Episode 2 We're gonna continue onwards with the next episode The adventure continues in Episode 2 Let's start Previously on the last door. Wakefield and Kaufman followed the only clue they had on the Witt's location, the recipient of Anthony's disturbing letter, Alexandra Dupre. Wakefield visited the East Hill Asylum to gather some information on Dupre's past. Wakefield discovered that Dupre was the leader of a secret site known as the Playwright. He learned that they practiced rituals and with the goals of peering through the veil, the line that separates the common world from an outer void full of horrors. One of East Hill's patients turned out to be a member of the Playwright, but she escaped the asylum. Wakefield and Kaufman followed her to her hideout, a cabin in the mountains, when suddenly a big flock of birds appeared. I must forget nothing. Oh god. Who am I now? Everything must be set. When the time comes. What am I doing? I am visited again. God damn these intros, fuck. Last door. For a moment, the sky was dark. We heard the calls of a thousand birds, but another sound rose above them. A sound I cannot describe. What? just happening here? Where is Miss Kanhe? We are too late. Fuck. It is ashes. The windows are covered with wooden planks. It looks like as if she was trying to keep someone from entering or something from getting out. Chalk, a circle drawn hastily on the floor. She thought it could prevent that what she knew was about to happen, but she was wrong. I do not what I do not know what to make all of this. I do. But do you know, Kaufman? Speak! You red piece of shit. Train bombs. I'm on the train. <coughs> Are you all right, Kaufman? It, it, it is nothing, main friend. Just a, sorry, just a bit of cold. Now, main friend, I think we should talk. In light of the events we have recently witnessed, the matter cannot be delayed any further. You must take an important decision. It is not yet too late to go back to your, our daily lives. If you do not want to continue, you must forget all about your patient, Jeremiah David. 
You will have to keep yourself everything. You have to keep yourself everything you have learned about the mystery of his disappearance and never talk about it again. But should you wish to continue the search, you will need to accept the consequences, whatever they may be. Please do not take this decision lightly. The path ahead is not without peril. You know my answer already, Kaufman. I must know what happened to Devet. So be it. As you may have already realized, the matter involving your patient transcends the limits of phys... 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 catri des vinayet. We are not dealing with the effects of trauma or the demons of the subconsciousness. At least not in the terms we are used to. We are dealing with something old, something dark. A sinister truth that has been buried deep for generations. This man, Alexandre Dupre, and his organization, I think they seek to uncover these secrets. And I fear they might have already have. It's gone his fate, whatever it was, must be related somehow. But my knowledge of this area is simply not sufficient. I must pay a visit to an old friend. Someone I never thought I would want to see again. The man who introduced me to the extended scientific field of the occult. My mentor. Professor Adam Wright. Shit. <laughs> Season 2, Episode 2. My dearest visitor. We're in Sea Waves, Wickport. Well, I mean, we're in Wickport, not Sea Waves. Sea Waves are the, the sounds. Bright Manor. I doubt he is away at this time of day. Perhaps he cannot hear us from the front. Let us try the back door. <laughs> Mrs. Oakwood. Oh, Oakwood. She's the manor's housekeeper. Yes, who is it? Good morning, Mrs. Oakwood. Don't you remember me? Why, Dr. Kaufman, bless my soul. It's been so long, I hardly recognize you. How nice to see you again. Allow me to introduce my colleague, Dr. John Wakefield. It is the professor at home. We would like to see him. Oh, yes, doctor, of course. I am quite forgetting myself. Let me take you to him. It is really good of you to come. He receives a few visitors these days. Now, on account of, of his condition... His condition? Oh, sir, I am right sorry. I thought you knew. The professor, he he suffers from an ailment afflicting his brain. He's now entirely confined to his bed. Oh, that's the guy. The, the, the guy. The, the, in the intro. Professor Wright, you have a visitor. One of them is your old friend. Look, look. Do you recognize him? It is Johan. Professor, your old pu pupil. I reckon he does remember you, Johan. It, it, it has been a long time since I have seen him. So excited. I believe you two talk to the professor. It might be difficult to keep him on the subject for long, but uh, it does him such a world of good to speak with old friends. Should you need my assistance, I will be in the backyard. <laughs> professor. Uncle James, you are back. It, it is I, Professor Johan Kaufman. Where is father? Where has he been taken? He suffers from some kind of memory loss. Yes, I'm afraid he will not tell us much in his state. If we could, if you could, but stimulate his memories, maybe then he could tell us of his research, something to unravel the mystery of the playwright. Perhaps we have a few options in any case. Let us try. Why don't you explore the manor? There may be some sub objects we can use to jog the professor's memory. Meanwhile, I will try and talk to him about the time we researched together. This could also help him remember. Well, here it goes. The game starts. Alright. Please, Professor, talk to me. <laughs> professor Wright. Father, why would you must, must you spend so much time away? Father. He's fucked. Yeah, I will find a memento, don't worry. Large wardrobe in great wood. Sure. 
course it's not going to be in this room. I have to go to the other room. Alright. A painting of the ocean at the end of the afternoon. There is a figure in black of the beach, but its face is shrouded by a hood. Okay, let's try this door. Locked door, it's locked! The sign of the door is attic. Of course, there's going to be something in the attic. A door opens. It is Le Beframe. Though I see myself in the mirror, the reflection is strangely disordered. Ah. Something is with this mirror. I don't very. A large porcelain tub. It's hefty weight supported on four black and iron feet. A thin ring, a damp of a blah blah blah. It doesn't really give me much. A common radiator. Of course. Of course. A glided pipe. It runs from the floor to the ceiling. Of course. Of course. What about this door? It is locked. It won't open. It doesn't even say what door it is. Okay. I shall go and talk to the woman downstairs. Oh god, this... This, this is a big mansion. Portrait of Professor Wright. His appearance was quite different back then. An imposing, inquisitive figure. Let's try this door. Hey, Harry Potter's room. Now it's quite a bit larger than expected. Locked door. Oh, hey, it's the pipes. I'm glad that pipe. It runs from the room at the end of the corridor to the room upstairs. There's something going to be with this pipe, I bet. I'm glad the pipe it runs from the ground to the corridor. A cast iron wood stove. There's something going to be here. Various ingredients. Of course. Glass jars filled with spices and pickled food. What about this door? It is locked. Basement. Of course. Oh, hello, miss. <laughs> May I ask you something, Miss Soakwood? Of course, Doctor. How did the professor be become afflicted? The ailment run runs in, the f in his family. Miss Wright suffers from it, as, as did his father and the grandmother before him. It's truly a terrible thing, and to think all these years Mr. Wright knew what would become of him make God have a pity on his poor soul. What are the symptoms of this illness? The ailment that runs in Professor's thing. Well, I can't speak those very long words physicians use, but I can tell you that what I see in him. Professor Wright hardly remembers a thing from the last 40 years. Holy shit. It's like he is a child again. With God's mercy, it has now gone so far that it torments him no longer. I must go. Thank you. Have a good day, Wakefield. Sure, I will. The thick layer of ice covers a pool of water. Of course. Of course it does. Got a tree. An oak tree. This oak tree looks leached and probably older than the manor itself. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, fuck me, this looks like a puzzle. The statue portrays of a clergyman hi hiding his face behind a mask. Mask? What? There's a fucking guy playing some game and I can't... Behind a mask? Okay. This queen has removed her mask. There's an empty hole where her sh face should be. Oh, okay. The central statue portrays a cloaked figure holding a clay vessel. The vessel has a small hole in it, just large enough to see the metal object in hidden inside. And I can't take it? I guess I can't take it. The sage has removed his mask, there is an empty hole where his face should be. The statue portrays a peasant woman with her face hidden by a mask. So I think I need two things for this shit. <laughs> the 
There's a strange ornament on the wall. I think I can move it. Oh, hey. I am not sure what I did. is locked. Oh, of course I can go to a map. Because I'm going to have to look around shit. Now I've put the thing on the tower, so I'm not sure what that's gonna do. Did it do something here, I wonder? And still pick it up. I guess he's gonna drop it once I do something here. Well, I hope so because I don't want to get stuck and watch the goddamn guy again. some rooms to check out. This door is locked, right? Yes. It's locked. Still have to check this out. Hello. Ah, hello. This looks interesting. Professor Wright has an elective collection. Sure. What is this? A, tin a tin soldier. It looks like it's been painted by hand. It Sure. Oh, right. I can show him it. Could it hold some special affluence to the professor? Perhaps it will help stimulate his memories. Of course. Fire burns fiercely, rendering an air thick and heavy in the room. Of course. A globe. Oh, shit. Fuck, I didn't read what it said. Damn it! Okay. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Those are, there, there are different sounds. I don't know. I'm gonna have to somehow find. What is that sound? It's locked. I can hear the racket of many birds on the other side. Oh, that is not good. Birds are never good. else we got? We got this room as well. Ah. Oh, it's bright. Oh, it's the exit, of course. Alright, let's go and show him this figurine. Maybe it'll give us a key or something.
Yo, what's up? Got your soldier thing. Do you recognize this, Professor Wright? Sergeant Downing was sent to the front. The man that has returned was not Sergeant Downing. My dearest visitor, you will know where to look. Oh, what a time we will have. Your visitor? What do you mean, Professor? You will have seen the map, and he will know the book of travels. The book of travels? Yes, yes, he will work it out. It must, must not be too easy, no. But he will find a prize, I'm sure. Prize? What on earth is he talking about, Kaufman? Something concealed, something precious in his adult state. Could have, could he have hidden away parts of his research? Hmm. He was always a proud man. He would not easily have forgotten his most groundbreaking work. A sense of his grave importance, at least, would have remained. Remained in his confusion. Perhaps he has hold it away somewhere for this dearest visitor of his to find. Why don't you explore the manor? Perhaps something will relate to these latest ramblings. Meanwhile, I will continue my endeavor endeavors to re revive his memory through conversation. A book of travels. Maybe. Does it mean I have to like look for a book? Those pipes. They're going into the ceiling. That means it's goes it's going to the attic. This is locked. Of course. It, yeah, it probably means that I need to find a book, probably, somewhere. There is a large volume here, quite worn. It is in. Perhaps this is. Uh, the Travels of the Marco Polo. Perhaps this is the book of travels that Professor Wright mentioned? There is a mark on one of the, pa the pages. We began our journey by crossing the unforgiving desert, always f facing the setting sun. At last we arrived at the merciful sight of great ocean. We followed the coast north in their hope of reaching our home soon. It was not to be the king of the land we traver traversed had declared war on the great Khan, so we were forced to return as we had come. We never set foot in that bloody land again. We knew that there was a port just a few miles to the south where we could find a boat. Our sea voyage was short as our sails blowed with the powerful southern winds, we reached the most eastern cape and landed there. Our backs to the sea where we marched forth and soon reached home. I don't get it. Oh! It's in the map! The fucking map! Fuck! At last we ra We began our journey by crossing the unforgiving desert. Desert, as always setting... Facing the setting sun, at last we arrived at the merciful sight of the great ocean. We followed the coast north in dear hope of reaching our home soon. Followed the coast north. It was not to be the king of the land where it was, so we forced to we had come. We never set foot in the boat. We knew there was a port just for miles to the south where we could find a boat. Our sea voyage was short, powerful south and Powerful south and winds. We reached most eastern cape and landed there. Our backs to the sea. We marched forth and soon reached home. It's the fucking globe thingy. All right. Okay, so the desert. Ha! This is the desert, I guess. So he went here. Oh, oh, right. I can look at it. Okay, good. This makes it even easier. Okay. Uh, hold on. Need to restart it. Okay, so north south is that way. Uh, so we went. Okay, so at last we found we arrived at the midst of the south of the great ocean. All right. So they were at the desert. Then they went. Then went. They went here. Followed in zero. Blah blah blah. We so we forced. We never set foot in the bloody island again. First declared war. Miles to the south. I don't get it. Hold on, I need to get this. Okay. Desert. This. 
Or maybe, hold on. Hold on. This, this, this. No, 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 hold on. We arrived at the merciful side of the great ocean by turning in the forgiving desert, always facing the setting sun. North. Traversed it was not to be. The king of the land we traversed had declared war on the great gods. So we were forced to return as we had come. Oh! We had. Okay, so we went back to the desert. We set foot in that bloody land again. And knew there was a port just miles to the south where we could find a boat. Easternmost cape. So. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. So, desert. They went here. Then they went back. The way they came. Then they went here. Then they went here. Am I doing it wrong? <sighs> they were in the desert. In the setting sun. Okay, so I checked a little bit of the guide and I was actually right. Um, but I wasn't supposed to be clicking like the same thing again so let me restart so all right so they were in the desert then they went here they went here then the way they went back then they set sail and then they ended up here no did I do do it wrong again Click all of them, that's the thing. It, is, it seems I have triggered a hidden mechanism. A small car compartment has opened up in the globe. There is a sealed letter inside. It is simply addressed to my dearest visitor. Kaufman needs to see this before it is opened. Let's go back. Look, I found an envelope. It, uh, it was hidden inside a globe that, that a strange mechanism opened. To my dearest visitor, let us see what is inside. Exactly this, exactly, this is another part of the intricate riddle. But to what purpose? To conceal something perhaps? Or just the last act of confused and drowning mind? I am increasingly of the opinion that this is some mental construct, some riddle, conjured up by the professor's failing mind. He may not have been understood what he hid. Those seeking wisdom must first know their own foolishness. Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion to reveal what the cold eye of logic sees not. What? Riddle? I'm uh, just fixing my chair. A riddle. And who would that visitor be? This is unknown to me. Mind front. There is only way, one way to answer that question. If we can find the answer to the professor's riddle, perhaps we we will be able to solve the mystery. Okay, hold on. Those seeking wisdom must first know their own foolishness. Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion to reveal what the cold eye of logic sees not. Reflect. That might be the 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 the, the, uh, the mirror. That's what all I, all I can think of. 
Reflect on yourself. Aha! I'm good with riddles, riddles, said the riddle. And the cold eye of logic sees not. Could there be something here hidden somehow? The pipes. Kind of pile runs from the ceiling to large porcelain tub with the thin ring. Recent use. Common radiator. Do I see myself in the mirror? The reflection is strangely disordered. Disordered. What else could there be in this room? Those seeking wisdom must first know their own foolishness. Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion to reveal what the cold eye of logic sees not. Heat. <gasps> heat. The pipes. The pipes go from down below. They need to fire up the uh, fire thingy. Need to fire up this thing. Okay. Hey, oi! I need your help. May I ask you something, Miss Oakwood? Is Professor Wright fond of riddles? Do you know puzzles and riddles? Indeed, yes, he has long been an enthusiast of every mind game you can imagine. In better days, he would host parties every other month, themed Sawyer's, he called them. Oh, those were good times. Seems long ago now. Fuck, you're no help. A bread oven. An old teapot. <gasps> it is filled with cold water. Aha! Need to heat it up. If I want to heat the teapot on the stove, I will need to, to start a fire first. The stove already has plenty of wood. How do I start the fire? Miss Oakwood, how do I finally start this fire? Damn it, you're not telling me. Do I need to go to the basement? No. Just wait. I want to go. We'll need to start the fire first. The stove already has plenty of wood. Will it then start? Okay, apparently I, match, I must miss, miss these matchboxes right here. Okay, so start up the fire. And now put the teapot. Water will cool soon. Fuck, I need to go... I need to get myself to... To the room. Get into the room. Bathroom. Use it on the mirror. <gasps> oh. Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion to reveal knowledge that the cold eye of logic sees not. Condensation from the teapot steam has revealed a hidden message. I'll add this clue to the letter. Knowing yourself, you may look upon your master, meet his imposing gaze, and seek to understand what lies beneath. Thereby, learn the question, if not the final answer. What? I don't get it. I need, I need Kaufman. <laughs> Only by answering the riddle can we can hope to solve this mystery, of course. Yourself, you may look upon your master, meet his imposing gaze, and seek to understand what lies beneath. Thereby, learn the question, if not the final answer. Does he mean his own himself? He's the master of this. Does he mean his painting? Look upon your master, meet not only his imposing gaze, but seek to understand what lies beneath. As I suspected, there's a small key taped to the back of the picture frame and a note. I'll add this clue to the letter. The, 
question is the world from the peak of man's tallest tower the answer yearns up to the fruit of life and time itself I got a golden key what is it for faded golden key there's only one way to find out try on every door the key does not fit in this keyhole damn it Of course, the attic. Shelf covered in old ornaments. Some kind of round mechanism, of course. <gasps> this is the same thing. I activated the tower thingy. Hey. hey. An unusual electrical device. I'm unfamiliar with this function, but I can tell that there is a piece of equipment missing. It is. It is missing something. See those? The statue portrays Queen with her face hidden. The statue portrays face behind a mask. So the statue. The answer yearns up to the to it from the very root of life and time itself. I should check if there's something hidden near the tree. Of course. I didn't understand that riddle, but now I do. That is precisely where your organization can provide help. I have designed a special device that will allow me to listen from a safe distance, but I, I lack the means to man manufacture it myself. That 